Um, so uh, now I will talk about a little bit um, about the software licensing and how it actually uh, relates to, to these cloud infrastructures. So whenever you use a software, you, uh, you should be aware of the license of the software so that you don't use it in a way which uh, you shouldn't be using it because that's basically illegal. Um, in case of proprietary software, um, so there's um, specifically we can talk about, for example, Agisoft of Autoscan, you have different types of licenses. You have educational licenses, you have commercial licenses. So uh, here, I guess we have been using either, yeah, we've been using, were we using any of the educational licenses actually? Of the Agisoft? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the licenses we have are educational. Okay, yeah. We have 20. Okay, yeah, so we have 20 educational licenses and uh, and uh, the important part of it is actually with the education license, you can't use it commercially. That means you can't obtain any money for uh, f when you run produce results, you can't sell, sell, it, uh, sell the results. I have uh, one uh, good example. We are running here the uh, workshop uh, just like I'm teaching you, I'm teaching people from companies for three days and it's education, right? I'm teaching them. And I counted the Agisoft if I can like, use the computers with our education license and they said no. Just because we are getting, they are paying us for being in this workshop, it is already commercial use. And I'm thinking, you're paying for your like tuition, right? Tuition. Yeah. Yeah. So like, <laughs> what is the deal? But yeah, we needed to erase all the licenses and make them uh, request the trial. Mm -hmm. The problem is, what Agisoft made themselves so they like they're smart than they used to be. Uh, so they locked it. So if you're using on your laptop one trial license, they do not allow you to use another trial license. What, yeah, what uh, it used to be before that I have like six emails, right? Like trash email and whatever. So from each email, I would request a trial and I could use it 30 days and 30 days and 30 days. Right now, it's not They possible. figured it out. They figured you it out. Doing it. <laughs> not me, I think a lot of people are doing I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can do that, but then uh, with our laptops, when we are running in the workshop, we have like 10 people and they're putting the trial. We have 20 laptops. Then the next workshop, the other people cannot put their trial there. Oh. So you can, yeah, so you can always work with demo version and everything. We can't use this education license. And also, they uh, right now there are a lot of options for licenses. So they're floating licenses that we were offered mm -hmm. to buy, like upgrade because then you can use it on like multiple machines. You don't have yeah, to yeah. activate. I, I actually have it okay, in the... Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I have it in the slides. Um, Go ahead, Anna. Um, yeah, so uh, why we talk about licenses uh, in the connection with cloud uh, infrastructure. So cloud infrastructure basically changed a lot um, how uh, these software um, providers had, had to like adjust their licensing uh, schemes because uh, it, uh, if you imagine you can launch your uh, virtual machine in a cloud and how do you actually deal with these licenses? Even if you just launch your um, Microsoft Windows instance, that means that there must be some kind of license behind each um, of, the, of the virtual machine instances. So, so uh, some time ago when this started to be uh, relevant, they had to actually uh, adjust uh, these licenses. So now uh, there are specific uh, licenses typically for cloud. Uh, as Inya was saying, uh, Agisoft has a floating license uh, because there, there has to be some kind of special licensing server which takes care of like uh, all these uh, licenses. So you basically, when you launch, when you would want to launch a, a VCL uh, with uh, with this educational license, so somebody has to like switch on and then switch off that license so that other people can then use it. So it's get it's getting really complicated. So they have to devise some kind of automatic system to deal with this, and you have to pay for these specific uh, licenses. Um, different uh, different software providers 
deal uh, with this differently. For example, Oracle can have a per computer core license, so you are paying based on the cores you request. Um, then, um, uh, then you uh, don't have to deal with, for example, with Windows licenses. So when you, for example, when you request a Windows instance on Amazon Web Services, versus if you request a Linux instance, uh, the Windows instance uh, is, I believe, uh, more expensive because you are kind of paying uh, the license whenever you launch that uh, Windows instance. Um, so one example actually I found was connected to the NCSU VCL. Uh, this was some announcement from 2013 where they actually had to remove uh, Adobe and Microsoft Office licenses from, from VCL because they would have to legally purchase some kind of second license uh, uh, to uh, to be able to provide it legally, and that was cost pro prohibitive. Um, so they were actually recommending open source alternatives when possible. Uh, so this was 2013. I think uh, there was some uh, changes maybe in the licensing models. Um, and so I believe uh, Microsoft Office uh, products are available on VCL, but I actually haven't found Adobe products. They, no, there. You can I'm, get a student license. There is a, yeah. like a different. But on v VCL, no, you, yeah, well, yeah, on yeah. The, no, no, VCL. yeah I, I'm, I'm more talking now about like these yeah. cloud yeah. systems. Yeah. And same for Office, which is like university wide. Uh, but it used to be that Adobe license. was not available like In for Earth. anyone that wanted it. But right now it is. Just yeah. saying, Photoshop's for us. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's just like a very concrete example how uh, these. Uh, yeah, how complicated it is. Um, so um, that's that's actually why um, open source software has has been a lot uh, more used now in this context of uh, of cloud um, uh, because it's just free to run. So you don't have to deal. Uh, so the open source software means it has a license. It has an open source license, which is like a, there are a couple of standard open source licenses. Um, so you don't have to actually really read the the EULA or how do you call it or EULA uh, e e -U -L -A. E -U -L -A. <laughs> yes uh, the end e end user license agreement. <laughs> so uh, because you know it's a standard license, which is what does it stand for? Okay. Yeah, yeah, end user license agreement. Um, so you don't actually have to, to read it because it's a clear license um, and. With, uh, with these other end user license agreements from proprietary software, you know that's like the most common lie. You always say, yes, I agree, I, I read, read it. Never, I read, and, never read and, it. And, yeah. and you never read it. Um, and I mean, there were some jokes when some company actually put some things in there about like signing your soul <laughs> or something like this. So, and somebody actually read it and then they had problem. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> actually read it. Um, so so uh, basically with these uh, with in this cloud environment uh, it has been much easier and uh, cost effective for people to to work on um, on Linux based systems and actually just work with open source software um, it also is related to the fact that a lot of web is basically most web is uh, now ran on uh, open source uh, programs um, and um, and all the clouds like Amazon Web Services, uh, they actually run on open source technologies. Uh, this is just like the picture uh, of uh, supercomputers, top 500 supercomputers, where uh, you can see this is 2010. There was mostly yeah. Linux, yeah. Uh, like. Some, mixed. Some, mixed. Uh, some Windows mixed, whatever it means. And to, this is 2017, there's just Linux there. There are different types or flavors of Linux, of course, but, um, but it's all running uh, just open source software. Um, 